Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber, coming back at you with another beer. This is Ockel's. This is a brewery from, or I should say on the Isle of Man. Uh, it, this is Ockel's. It is their IPA, India Pale Ale. It is 4.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, pure perfection, crafted to the high standards and uniquely independent. Brewed to Manx purity laws since 18, 1874. Yeah. Cool. I read I read up a little bit about the uh, the purity laws, and um, uh, I forget what year it was, but they weren't allowed to brew lagers, wheat, wheat beers, and fruited beers for a while. That changed at some point, but I forget what, I forget when, but, uh, <clears throat> but yeah. So Oakles IPA is an extremely light colored beer with a surprising full body taste. The sweetness is offset by a very strong hopping rate that gives the finished beer an overall roundness with very spicy lemony notes and a fine dry finish to counteract the initial sweetness. Uh, do, do, do. Brewed in the Isle of Man. Water, malted barley, hops. Those are the ingredients. I'm assuming yeast is also in there. But uh, best before date. Best before date is September 22. So I assume they give like this like a year or something. Uh, I picked this up. I probably went over it in the uh, the uh, other video I did, but I picked this up in the airport on our way out. Um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get any more of this or have any more until I went back because I'm pretty sure they don't uh, export any other stuff. Maybe maybe to like Europe they do, but I I don't think so. Or maybe you can find it in uh, some places. I'm using my Bushy's Ale of Man beer that uh, uh, our friend Jesse gave us, sent back with my mom. Uh, she sent this one and an Ockel's one. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Ockel's for the other one. Cause I didn't, I didn't want to do it side by side. I just didn't feel like it. So yeah, that is, that is a nice, like coppery honey color. Uh, it's slightly hazy. And that is about half a finger ish of an off white head. I would call it. But yeah, looks good. Little, little yellow, little orange. Nice. Nice. Let's see what it smells like. Yeah, there's a nice maltiness to it. Uh, similar to like that malty sweetness that you get in like uh, non-alcoholic beers. I, I love that. Um, so it smells awesome. There's a little bit of like a honey character in this. Hmm. A little bit of a honey character. Probably should be a little bit warmer. I took it out of the fridge a little bit ago, but I don't think it was enough time. Yeah. I was gonna say, I thought I was getting some citrus, but I don't, I don't know. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Mm. 
So I'm assuming they give it a year. So if that's the case, it was bottled uh, September. It is January. So that's what, October, November, December, four months, five months, depending on how you look at it. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's weird, but it's a little bit eye opening that, uh, Cause like one of my favorite non-alcoholic beers, uh, I talked about it in the Candon Town review, but one of my favorite non-alcoholic beers is the Claw Taylor Dry Hop. And the Claw Taylor Dry Hop tasted very similar to the Camden Town. It tastes, it tastes very similar to this. So I, like it's weird thinking that non-alcoholic beer had like a specific flavor or taste but it was more of like a European uh, base thing instead of like an American thing. So it's it's weird to like think that and then experience this kind of stuff. I love this. It was fucking awesome. Obviously, it's a little. It's it's got a little bit of. It's four and a half percent, so it's not as like thin or and whatnot as a non-alcoholic beer. It has a bit more flavor. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit, a little bit drying. I feel like it says the sweetness is offset by a very strong hopping rate, which I agree that sweetness and that like bitterness are, uh, are balanced. <clears throat> but like when you hear strong hopping rate, you get this idea of like, like at least in in the u.s like this like quadruple triple double dry hopped kind of thing or or just insanely hopped in general but it's not that at all yeah that honey thing is in the taste i don't know if that's just a com i don't know if that's just how i'm perceiving like the citrus and the maltiness together, or if it's just the maltiness, it's just the malt. It just says malted barley on here, so. Yeah, there is a citrus, citrusiness to it, but it's like, A little more zesty and it's not huge i'm not getting like a ton of citrus but it's like a pleasant pleasant citrus man i could drink this shit all day i'm so mad i never should have gone there never um well i should have but it's it's ruined me as far as beer goes uh, <clears throat> cause this is the stuff that I just want to drink all the time. I chug this thing. So anyway, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that honey thing is super cool. It's so weird. I'm getting these like crazy sweet 
sweetness thing in these beers, or at least this one. And then I have the I have the <coughs> Timothy Taylor's uh, landlord right, bottle right here. And I was getting this brown sugar thing in there, and it's it's awesome. I'm a fan. I am a fan. So yeah. I don't know if you can get this outside of the Isle of Man, but if you can, I would recommend it. Or if you can get to the Isle of Man, I would recommend it. Because, or, I mean, if you're looking for hazies or whatever, there is a beer shop in Isle of Man that does, that does import, uh, I think stuff like that. They were closed the two days we were in Douglas. It's in Douglas, Isle of Man. Um, it's called Bottle Monkey. Uh, they were closed while we were there. Um, uh, but uh, but I think they get some like hazies because I think I saw a picture of like forget what the beer was but it was like a hazy ipa or something that they had on tap or something there so but i wouldn't go there looking for hazies i would go there and drink cascale forever do it um i'm getting a little off track here so i apologize i'm just getting excited oh man this is how I like my IPAs. It's a little West Coasty, West Coast style, but not nearly as bitter, not nearly as uh, obviously it's lower ABV. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and I this is the first time I'm having this one as well, so I did not get to. I did not have this while I was over there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. I guess I think I covered everything. I I chugged this whole bottle. Man, I wish I wish there were more IPAs that tasted like this with this kind of ABV. Uh, Mm, 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 mm. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can like this video if you would like to. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. It's spelled out 93lumber. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.